Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at adding an arpeggiator into Voltage Modular. So the synth you can see on the screen is the one that we ended up with in the last video in the series. So we've got two oscillators, the moment both outputting square waves to this six input mixer, so we can control the balance between the two. The output of that mixer goes into a filter which is controlled by this envelope generator. And the output of that goes into an amplifier which is controlled by this envelope generator. So it's a fairly simple to oscillator synth. So we're going to look at adding an arpeggiator today. So first things first, we're going to drag in the modules we're going to need. So first is an arpeggiator, understandably, but also this might be a useful trick. So I'm going to drag in this multiple here for reasons that will become clear in a second. So just going to drag that in. And now to give us a bit more space on screen, I'm going to close this, which is done with command one on Mac or control one on Windows. And then we can just take up our whole screen like that. So let's just zoom in one step more. Right. So the reason I've got this mult in is because what I want to do is to be able to drag multiple keyboard CVs in this case from this to this and play around and be able to experiment quickly. So using a mult means that you don't have to worry about redragging two cables because you'd have to click on here and then move one then the other. So I'm just going to move all of these over so you can marquee around all of them and then move them by the tab there and it squishes them up together and then I'm going to put that multiple there. So I'm just going to repatch this at the moment so it will work exactly the same as before. So I'm just going to take those pitch. So this top one is going to be the pitch and you can hear it still works. And then the bottom one is going to be the gate. This is just so I can go between the keyboard input and the arpeggiator while I'm playing around, etc. And you'll find later on you probably want to do this because you will end up repatching things. And if you've got multiple things to repatch, it can be a pain. So that's functionally no different. The key with the arpeggiator, though, is that if you were to just plug this in, it's very easy to go. Well, look, there's our CV out. And here's my gate out. And then you play things and nothing happens. And that's because when we're in this uh, CV mode here, so back here, we're monophonic. So if I press multiple keys, I'm now, you can't see this, but I'm playing, I've got my fist pressing down like seven keys on the keyboard. We're only hearing the last note. So, this is only monophonic, so what we're going to do is move this over to here and then take advantage of the MIDI from host control here. So I'm going to grab that. You can see it's a different kind of lead. And then we we'll plug that in, and then we're in business. So now when I press a key, and if I press a chord on the keyboard, so we can hear it's doing up and down, and it's doing it over two octaves. So typically, the thing you'll want to expect from an from a modular synth is some random craziness. So three octaves of fast random craziness, and we're in business. So suddenly, you can start noodling around with all the. Now, obviously, there's a lot more you can do with the arpeggiator than just that, but that's a way to get you started. So most importantly is that it uses this MIDI connection rather than the CV connections. And it's a good idea to use multiples for any connection which you're going to be repatching, which has got multiple inputs. So in this case, with my oscillators. So if I'd gone you know, more crazy and added in another oscillator, it would be easy to do that because we can just take it from that malt. And then when I want to go back into keyboard mode or whatever, I can do that. So I hope you found that useful and I'll see you again soon.